Hello, uh, my name is Mrs. Lopez. I am the U.S. History teacher and honors U.S. History teacher here at Bourbon Day Jesuit High School. I'm sorry that I was unable to make it to back to school night, um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of information um, and so you can get to know a little bit about the course and about me. Here is the ways you can reach me through email or through the phone number here. Uh, my extension is 3020. Um, about me, I graduated from LMU, the School of Education in 2021 with an uh, MA in Urban Education. This is my second year at Verb. I've been teaching full-time for four years. Um, I love teaching. I love being at Verb and I love your students. Um, it's every day I, I find something good that happens in the classroom and I, I really enjoy um, being here uh, in the class and among this community so I'm very thankful that I get to be part of this. Okay about the course so U.S. history and honors U.S. history um, we take the content standards from the Crystal Ray Network um, so we'll be covering content standards from there as well as our skill standards um, uh, for the benchmarks, we focus on historical thinking skills like causation, comparison, change in continuity over time, and contextualization. Um, we do a lot of writing in here, a lot of um, evaluating of uh, different historical ideas or events based on evidence. So that's a lot of what we do. Um, just a side note, the difference between U.S. And, uh, college prep on level U.S. history and honors U.S. history, um, we cover the same content. Um, however, it's the output of the students um, that is different. So uh, where U.S. history maybe uh, will write a paragraph with one claim using um, two pieces of evidence to support that claim. Maybe honors will write two paragraphs with two claims using two pieces of evidence to support each claim. So that's where that's where the difference is. Um, our grading breakdown, 50% formative assessments. These are mostly um, exit tickets, what I call exit tickets. Basically, at the end of each lesson of each class, the students get maybe 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes to um, complete something where they will show or practice the skill that we and the content that we covered during class that day. Um, maybe like we just did the causes of the American Revolution and the exit ticket was that the students had to um, choose what they thought was the most significant cause of the American Revolution and they had to back that claim up with evidence. Um, so those are those are mostly the formative assessments. Um, we also have 40% are summative assessments. Those would be exams, longer essays and uh, projects. 10% would be practice. Those include ed puzzles, which are, are videos that the students would watch with um, embedded questions. Um, the quizzes, which is a gamified uh, quiz and a completion of guided notes. The homework policy students have to, well, okay. First of all, I will never in general assign homework just to be homework. Um, if a student has homework, it is because um, they didn't finish the classwork in time. So if there is that exit ticket, um, ideally I, I have uh, designed it so that the students should be able to finish by the end of class, but sometimes, sometimes they don't finish. Um, so whatever they don't finish in class becomes homework. That needs, that is due, um, that is due by the next class period. Uh, if they do not turn it in by the next class period, it becomes an M in the grade book and that will be reflected. Um, however, we are not gonna have any M's in the grade book because if a student doesn't turn in an assignment, then um, I will, I hold office hours and the student just needs to come to office hours to finish that assignment so we can um, put a grade in that student can get credit for, for that work. Um, so that is the, the policy uh, for homework. Um, if a student's absent, uh, they need to check Schoology. I post everything on Schoology. Every every piece of material that we cover, every document or source or resource is posted on Schoology. So your student just needs to look at Schoology for that day and they can get an idea of what's going on in class and then they can email me and I'm happy to help them um, help them with those, uh, whatever questions they have. Um, my office hours are 
Mondays after school by appointment, um, Thursdays and Fridays after school until 3.30. And really, if a student um, wants to get in contact with me outside of those hours, I'll just email me and we can figure something out. So classroom expectations are just the regular um, Verbum Day Jesuit school, uh, high school, um, you know, respect each other, um, be, be kind to one another, be respectful of one another. I don't anticipate problems with this. If I have, in general, if I've ever had any um, issues uh, with this, with if a student is kind of having a hard time, usually a conversation um, will help to clear it up. Um, if I have multiple conversations, then maybe we'll, it'll be time to um, partner with, uh, with you um, to try and help the student, um, help your student to, to get on track. Um, so in that case, you might get an email or a call from me. Um, but you might get emails or calls from me when your student is doing well, because I like to, I love the, to celebrate the wins. Um, my communication is through RenWeb and ParentSquare. Um, so again, if you have any questions, please uh, email me or you can call me. Email is the best way to reach me. Um, and I hope that you have a great, uh, great evening. Thank you.